What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about how will the rail industry actually challenge you in your life. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I've got four things listed to help you prepare yourself um, and your spouse or husband or partner, whoever the case may be, prepare you entirely before you jump into the rail industry. Okay, so number one, it's going to test your relationship. Most people have a relationship, whether it be with a wife or a husband or a boyfriend or girlfriend, and you're going to test and see just how supportive your other half is. Um, it takes two to work in the rail industry. It really does because a lot of times, you, as you guys know, if you're on this channel, you know you're gone a lot. It's going to challenge your relationship really hard, and you know, and it, and it's and it's either going to make or break you. One of the two will happen. You know, people talk about the divorce rate being so high in the rail industry. There's a reasoning behind that. So before you jump into this rail industry, I would ex I encourage you, highly encourage you to sit down with your spouse or partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. And let them know what you're getting into. Let them know about the lifestyle. Show them some of my videos, whatever the case may be. What does a rail conductor really do? That's one of my biggest channel or biggest videos on this channel. Okay, so anyways, let's go to number two. It's going to test you mentally, guys. And what I mean by this is, especially if you don't have any kids and you plan to have kids, and I'm just going to share you guys with my story. I'm going to be a little vulnerable here and open up and just tell you what was going on. Um, when I worked in the rail industry, um, you know, I had a newborn daughter, Riley. She's now, I'm sure y'all have seen her in the background live stream. She's six now. And when she was born, she was still very young. She was, let's see, she was born in March 2016. I started 2017. She was just over two years, uh, just under two years old. The mental challenge I had was I started having some crazy anxiety and I've never had anxiety before. I used to not even believe in anxiety. I used to be like, oh, that's just a myth. That's, I'm telling you guys, it's real. My anxiety started and I thought I was going to die any second, whether I was at work or I was on the road. And I used to drive, you got to think, every, every six days when I had my two days off, I used to drive uh, two and a half, three hours every time and go see the kids and see Katie. And man, I just remember being out there and working just, and just, you know, I worked on a local. I had that local I was working and I worked the same job every day. And I just felt like any second I was going to die. And there's um, there's a little... Correlation there, uh, just a little bit about me and my life. My, my dad passed away when I was five years old. So I don't know what it was. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not searching for sympathy or anything like that. I was just, you know, I'm just letting you guys know everything's okay. Um, you know, my dad was a great man, and I know he was. I remember being with him before he passed away when I was five. But anyways, that's where that kind of stemmed from. But it's going to test you mentally. Hopefully you don't experience this part. Um, but it's definitely going to test you mentally, especially if you're younger in a new relationship. And maybe there's some trust issues there and you're going to be stuck in a hotel and she's going to be back at home and you're going to make yourself go crazy. Be prepared. And, and, and the best thing, the best advice I can give you if you start going through something or maybe you're locked in a hotel, like I said before, if you're locked in a hotel and you need someone to talk to, reach out to me, okay? A lot of times my message is go to a, like a different folder, like message request folder. I don't know why that is, but I check it almost every other day or so. Um, reach out. Reach out to me, reach out to the YouTube, Facebook group, whatever the case may be. If you need to talk to somebody, reach out, and I promise you somebody will at least listen to you. I'm, I'm a great listener. Um, but, yeah, please please don't hesitate. Re reach out to me if you need to. If I don't get back with you, keep blowing my phone up, okay? It's, it's okay. I, I promise I don't mind. That's that's what I'm here to do. This is, this is like, this is my job. So, number three. It's going to test your discipline levels, and that's and that's that's the cold hard truth. And how how disciplined are you really to answer that phone and actually get up and go to work every time they call you? For a lot of you, especially on this channel, you've been wanting to do this for a really long time. A lot of you love the rail industry, um, you know, from an outsider looking in. So for you, it's easy. Uh, just like me, for me, it was pretty easy. There were some days where I was extremely tired, or maybe I came in from a trip and I kind of stayed up you know, four or five hours playing Call of Duty or whatever, and then went to sleep and only caught, only caught three or four hours of sleep and I was called right back to work. Those are tough. Those are tough, and I'm not going to lie to you. There are some days where I did mark off sick because of that. You know, I was young. I was 27. I say young. I was, I was 20, 26, 20, 27, 28 years old, um, and, and I hasn't, you know, I wasn't as disciplined as some guys uh, my age, and, you know, it definitely takes time. But it's going to test your discipline level. Um, you know, if you start catching yourself marking off sick, challenge yourself to, you know, develop. You know, I posted a thing on my page not too long ago. It says, do not spiral, evolve. And I'll share the picture here. You know, we all have our flaws. 
uh, embrace them and 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 the really don't compete with the next man. Compete with yourself. Uh, a big deal with leadership is you know or or growing as a person is to challenge yourself every day. Do something just a little bit better every day. If you notice that you're having a hard time getting up when you're you know answering that phone call at two in the morning, just remember that make a self note. It takes like two seconds. Take make a self note. So I'll get better next time. It's going to test your discipline level. It's going to be an excellent opportunity for you to evolve and become a better worker. Even if you don't stay in the real industry, like now, what I mean by that is like now when I go to work, the policy where I work at now, which is Atlas Tube, uh, which is Nucor's biggest competitor, uh, their policy is that you can't have your phone on you at all times. That's a no-brainer for me. Like I'm so used to having a phone stored away in a bag. Um, that's okay. I just keep my phone in my truck and I just go to work. And if I need to look at my phone, guess what? I just walk out to my truck, look at my phone, make sure Katie or the kids haven't called me or whatever, and put my phone down and go back to work. That part's easy, and it will help you in the long run, even if you leave the rail industry. And the last one that I have, and this is more of a joke, but it's true, and if you're still here in your old head and you've worked in rail industry before, you're going to get a laugh out of this. And you've probably been saying it the entire video. It's going to test your patience, guys. These railroads are going to test your patience, and, they, and you think you're good. You think you have good patience? Like I thought I was a patient person, and then I find myself kicked back in the side and going, what in the hell are we doing? Call up dispatcher and say, hey, yeah, so, uh, you know, how many are we going to see before we leave? Nine! Going to test your patience. You're going to get aggravated. You're going to get aggravated with the engineer you work with every now and then. You know, it's just, it's just part of the job. Um, the only advice I have on that is self-triggering. When you start to notice yourself getting pissed off, when you start to notice yourself getting really irritated and, and impatient with what's going on, Self-trigger, notice, you know, catch yourself and like, all right, look, I just, I need to take a step back here. There's nothing I can do. I can't control it. It's up to the dispatcher. I'm not going to sit here and harass her or harass him. That's whatever, you know, kick your feet up. You're getting paid, whatever the case may be. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Appreciate you guys being here. Sorry I've been kind of inactive on uh, on the YouTubes. I'm trying to make some videos here and there. Big things are coming down the pipe as far as, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I've been studying to take my uh, Part 107 uh, pilot's uh, license deal for my drone. Um, I see a great business opportunity with this drone and there's really nobody doing it here in Alabama. I'm gonna try and take full advantage. So I've been studying that pretty hard. Um, if you guys are interested in any of this drone stuff, please let me know. Uh, if you guys are interested in, in the, uh, the uh, Part 107 of the uh, aeronautical knowledge exam, let me know. So that's the next step and we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Y'all take it easy. Be safe. If you need anything, message me on Facebook. Facebook group down below also. I'll see you guys soon.